بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد أيها الأحباب the issue of declaring another Muslim to be a innovator or a disbeliever or a wicked sinner is such a serious matter and as we said on countless times we brought the statements of the ulama of Ahl Sunnah from uh, Qadimin wa Hadithin, meaning those scholars from before, like Shaykh Islam ibn Taymiyyah, to many of our modern day ulama who speak out against these matters that you should not speak without knowledge. And if you don't have the ability to go to the Quran and the Sunnah and the statements of the Salaf of this Ummah to be able to go and do research in its original le uh, language and textual form and you haven't studied at the feet of the ulama to be able to have some idea, to have some fiqh fi deen and to derive these ahkam and then apply it to individuals, then you should definitely keep silent. And this is what the ulama state to us, that even the students of knowledge, it's not even for all the students of knowledge, nor is it even for all the ulama, not all the ulama, not all scholars are at the same level. There are some shayukh sh uh, that are on certain levels and that they are not maybe so proficient or they do not wish to be uh, indulge in those issues and then there's other ulama that Allah has blessed them that they have the 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 courage and the the knowledge and the wisdom and hikmah in applying those principles and applying it to particular individuals but Allah has favored them with that knowledge so it's not for everyone so ayul ahbab we should busy ourselves with that which is going to benefit us and benefit our communities let's hear what alama uh, bin Fozan, however the law ta'ala says, and the evidence that he brings about the seriousness of speaking without knowledge uh, against individuals, against people, declaring them to be disbelievers, another Muslim, declaring them to be uh, uh, innovators, mubtadi'ah, without the right to do so. Qala Allama bin Fozan, however the law ta'ala qal, in the kalima tafsiq wa tabdi wa takfir, kalimatun khatiratun. لا تذهب سدا إذا نطق بها الإنسان فهي كلمة لها أثرها فقد قال صلى الله عليه وسلم إذا قال رجل لأخيه يا كافر فقد باء بها أهدهما وقال صلى الله عليه وسلم ومن لعن مؤمنا فهو كقتله ومن كذف مؤمنا بكفر فهو كقتله So the Sheikh said حفظ الله تعالى he said that verily declaring someone to be a wicked sinner or an innovator or a disbeliever is something very dangerous and it doesn't disappear meaning it doesn't uh, easily go away this once you've made this statement about someone if you've declared someone to be a disbeliever you may take fear of them or you've declared them to be a mubtidiyah they're not going to take this lightly more than likely nor is it going to go away, even if they don't defend themselves or what have you, that effect of it is going to remain, even if you take it back. You've went too far. Then the Sheikh said, So if a person says this, then there's going to be uh, an effect of this statement. And he said, and this is why and the Messenger والسلام, said, that if a man says to his brother, O oh, disbeliever, ya kafir, then it descends upon one of them. Means that this this hukum, this ruling, descends upon one of them as as a disbeliever. And the Prophet والسلام, said in another hadith, uh, whoever curses a, uh, a a believer, then it is if he has killed him. And whoever slanders uh, a, a believer with declaring takfir of him, then it is as if he killed him. Then the Shaykh mentioned, ya fasiq, ya kafir, ya Allah, من ذا الذي يتعلي علي ألا أغفر, أغفر لي فنان 
إني قد غفرت له وأهبتت أعما وأهبت أعمالك. The Sheikh then went on to say, حفظ الله تعالى. He said, so if a man says to his brother, O oh, wicked sinner, O oh, disbeliever, O oh, enemy of Allah, and he is not like this, meaning he's not an enemy of Allah, or he's not a kafir, he's not a wicked sinner, then that uh, hukum, that ruling, returns back upon him. And he said, then this is due to the fact that when the man said, I swear by Allah that Allah will not forgive so and so, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, said, Who has lied about me, lied upon me, and said that I not, would not forgive so and so? Verily, I forgive him, and I have destroyed all of your deeds. None of us is in need of having our deeds destroyed, but in fact, we need more deeds. We need more good deeds, and we need Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to raise us up. So be cautious of what you say with your tongue about speaking about your brothers and sisters in Islam without the right to do so and without being upon the truth. But make sure you're cautious with your tongue and safeguarding your honor and safeguarding the honors of others. If you don't know about the condition of a particular individual, keep silent. Say, I don't know. If someone asks you just because you heard so-and-so is this, so-and-so is this, just it's better to keep silent. Then you've safeguarded your honor. You haven't lost anything. But when you speak, you've invested yourself. You either lose something or Allahu Alam if you gain anything. So Ayul Ahbab, be very cautious about speaking about one another. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Nabi Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.